So you can see if you don't have the torque pin in place, the wheels just spin. The torque pin needs to go between the bands, strands of the bands, and it gives the bands something to push against. The bands and the wire are really the frame of the car, and they're pushing against the wheels, they're pushing against them, that gives the wheels a way to push against the road. Now this is Spool Car 3.0. You can find out more about that in different videos. And it's got a mechanism uh, when you wind it up that allows the bands, well, the wheels to keep moving. And they've got skateboard bearings in them. Let's see. This one doesn't just stop and then roll backwards when you're done. All right, spool car 2.0 with one band. This is just basic. It takes a long time to wind one band up enough to get it tight, but you don't want to go too far. How far is too far? It's hard to tell until you've broken some bands. There we go. Now, of course, you want to make it go faster, so add some bands. Uh, here I've added two bands, and it's going to go pretty fast, but there's a problem. There's too much torque. And I'm winding it up again getting a little worried that the bands might be about to snap. It's really frustrating, although you just do more bands. Oh, wheelie. So when you get a wheelie, um, the steering is all out of whack and it just doesn't necessarily go straight. So the reason wheelies happen is because there's too much torque lifting up the wire. And to fix that, I add length to the wire, making it a longer lever arm giving the wire more torque. And the best way I've found to do that is with a little bit of blue masking tape, because you can get that off. Don't use duct tape. See how I've kind of splinted it to one side, and now I'm going to bend it, and I'm going to do the same thing on the other. And if I'm smart, when I wrap this tape around, I'll leave a little bit, I'll fold over the end so that I can have something to pull loose rather than having to dig at it with my fingernail. Doesn't look like I did a great, yeah, I did a little bit on that one. So I've left a little bit of a lip up there. Now I'm straightening this out, and just so the end isn't super pointy, I'm gonna bend it over kind of like a, like a proboscis of a, a butterfly. Also, having a longer wheelbase like this makes it steer better, or at least makes it go straight. It's gonna have a longer turn radius, which means that if you want it to go in a straight line, it's going to do a better job of that. Winding it all up, carefully trying to push it as far as I can go, and I'll just shut up and let you finish. So I have my students figure out how fast their cars went. We do a lot of different things, but here I'm going to be comparing it to the world record car. And I'm also going to get the top speed. So the world record car went five meters, which is from here to the second line in 2.82 seconds. So I'm going to back my car up to the beginning and I'm going to use my arrow keys. Did I say this is quick time player? Anyway, that's what I'm using and I'm using the arrow keys to go back to when my hands are together, somewhere around there. So according to the bottom here, that's frame 310. I need to remember that. And now I'm gonna go to the end, right? I'll just go to the middle of the tape, 707. So now I need to do 707 minus 310. That was 397 frames. Each of these frames is 200, 1 240th of a second, so I'll divide by 240. 1.65 seconds. The world record was 2.82. And now I'm going to calculate the speed over this last foot. So I'm going to go, uh, looks like the very front of my, my proboscis, the, the wire at the front, is at the front of the tape there. And that is frame 691. And when the front of my wire is at the front of the next tape, that's 707. So 707 minus 
691 is 16, 16 frames. Um, so that's a distance of, of 0 0.305 meters because it's a foot. And I'm going to do 0 0.305 um, times 240 divided by 16. 4.575 meters per second. In miles per hour, that's about 10.2 miles per hour. I plan to make some more spool car videos, including one about the classroom set version 3.0 that you saw at the beginning of the video. So those links should be popping up in the space below in the near future.